Hello, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumball, the modular groove box. In this video, I would like to show you how you can map multiple instruments to the keyboard. So, for example, you want to play one instrument in, on one octave and a different instrument in another octave. So, how do we do that? Well, it's very simple. So, let's start with a track here. Okay, perfect. Let's uh, um, first of all move these to the right, the MIDI to CV, and uh, add a note filter. And let's activate the keys so we see the keyboard underneath here. And let's say that we want to play a nylon guitar between C2 to uh, B2. So how do we do that? Well, simple. Let's change that to no C-2, but C-2, so we scroll that to C-2. We can actually leave it to B-7 because uh, we are going to put uh, another instrument below C-2. Which is fine. So, uh, in here we'll have um, the MIDI to CV to control voltage connected to the MIDI filter. So only this note will be filters less than uh, add a simpler preset and uh, let's uh, insert a nylon guitar. So let's try. And as I play below the C2, nothing happens. Okay, then let's add another MIDI note filter. Let's connect that to the MIDI input of the track. Let's change the notes to start from C1 here to B1. Here we go. Let's add then a MIDI to CV to convert the MIDI signal to control voltage. And then let's add ultimately a sampler and in this case, let's select a ethereal pad. Okay. If I play now, the guitar doesn't play, but the pad plays below. Okay, because it moves to the left, the right. That is one of the principal drumbo. So let's add a mixer now. So let me go to mixer, and we select the mixer here. Let's click on the plus sign, and let's take the output from the guitar. And also let's take the output from the pad. And now let's try. Guitar. And we have the um, pad underneath and we can play together. Fantastic. So in this way, you can really create mapping of instruments to any part of the keyboard as you like, and you can create it in the mixer to bring them in. Uh, so this is quite powerful uh, because um, it allows you to really also have different configuration between one track to another track as well, which can be very interesting when you play live. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and see you next time. Bye.